Hey there, welcome to Fact Frenzy. Have you ever wondered what makes bats different from birds even though both can fly through the sky? At first glance, they might seem similar, with wings flapping as they move between trees or across the night sky. However, bats and birds are separated by millions of years of evolution and have developed unique adaptations that make them incredibly distinct from each other. In this video, we'll explore the main differences between bats and birds, including their anatomy, methods of flight, reproduction, and behavior. By the end of this video, you will clearly understand what sets these creatures apart, and you'll appreciate the unique roles both play in our environment. One of the most striking differences between bats and birds is their wing structure. Birds have wings made of feathers attached to a strong but lightweight skeleton, with the primary flight feathers anchored to their elongated arm and hand bones. This design allows birds to generate lift efficiently while maintaining maneuverability during flight. Bats, on the other hand, have wings that are made of a thin membrane of skin stretched across elongated finger bones. This skin membrane is flexible, allowing bats to make sharp, agile movements in the air that many birds cannot. The presence of this wing membrane and their unique skeletal structure makes bats the only true flying mammals on Earth. Birds typically rely on the strength of their breast muscles and the structure of their feathers to achieve powerful and sustained flight. They can soar long distances by catching thermal currents, which is especially evident in species like eagles and hawks. Their feathered wings also help them conserve energy while gliding. Bats, meanwhile, use their flexible wings to achieve highly maneuverable flight, allowing them to catch insects midair with impressive accuracy. They can change the shape of their wings while flying, giving them a level of control that surpasses most birds. This makes bats excellent hunters during the night, capable of quickly adjusting their flight path to capture prey or avoid obstacles in complete darkness. Birds lay eggs, which is one of their most defining characteristics. The female bird will usually lay eggs in a nest, where she or both parents incubate them until they hatch. This method of reproduction allows birds to produce multiple offspring at once, ensuring the survival of their species even if some chicks do not make it to adulthood. In contrast, bats give live birth to their young, known as pups. Mother bats will often only have one pup at a time due to the demands of live birth and the need to carry their young while flying. This live birth method requires the mother to invest more care into each pup, ensuring it is fed with milk and protected until it can fly and hunt on its own. Birds are primarily diurnal, meaning they are active during the day and rest at night. They rely heavily on their vision to navigate, find food, and protect themselves from predators. Birds also communicate using a variety of songs and calls, which play a significant role in their mating rituals and territorial defense. Bats, in contrast, are mostly nocturnal and use echolocation to navigate and hunt during the night. They emit high-frequency sounds that bounce off objects, helping them create a sound map of their surroundings. This unique adaptation allows bats to thrive in the dark, where they face less competition for food from birds and other daytime predators. While bats and birds both have the ability to fly, they are remarkably different in many ways, from their wing structure to their reproductive methods and lifestyle. Birds are feathered, egg-laying creatures that dominate the skies during the day, while bats are mammals with flexible wings and advanced echolocation, ruling the night with their agile hunting skills. Understanding these differences helps us appreciate the diversity and complexity of the natural world around us. The next time you see a bird soaring under the sun or a bat fluttering in the dusk, you'll know how truly unique and important both are to maintaining the balance of our ecosystems.